Don't you mean our baby? What is he doing here? What do you think? I'm here to collect my son. Can I hold him, please? No, 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 no. They're not going to let me hold him. You don't get anywhere near him. First, I'm going to need some answers. David's claiming this baby is his. What's that? Is that the truth? Go ahead, Amanda. Answer the question. It's a very simple one. Yes or no? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I didn't hear that. Was that a... Yes. This is our son. You thought my nightmare was over? Guess what? It's just begun. Well, there you have it. Right from the baby stealer's mouth. The boy is mine. You cannot keep me from my son. Uh, yeah, I can. And I will until this all makes sense. Jesse, you should know that every time Amanda turned around, David was trying to steal the child. So you let me That's think he was dead, right? Jesse, please, can I just please hold him? Look, the baby needs to stay in custody for the time being, okay? Can you just let her hold him? She's not going to go anywhere. She'll stay in the room. You can now, stay wait a room, minute. Right? If anyone is going to hold this boy, it's going to be me. It's the baby's mom. Come on. We should, can we go outside and discuss this? I'll explain everything to you. So what's it going to be, hmm, Chief? You going to play favorites like you usually do? Look, the baby knows Amanda, and the baby comes first. You stay with Yeah. After you. Get ready to put him in my arms. For good. Come here. Come here. Oh, hey. Trevor is safe. Right? Shh, shh. So, um... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's really okay. I think all he was missing was his mom. Oh, my goodness. You have no idea how much I love you, do you? Where were you, huh? Huh? You know what? It doesn't matter because you're here with me now, and I am never going to let you go again, OK? OK? <laughs> That's right. I mean, somebody turned him into the hospital, or did they bring him straight to the station? Has he been checked by a doctor? I'm sorry, you are a doctor. Last I checked. <sighs> so you're sure he's OK? Your son is in excellent health. OK. Uh, well, thank God he looks good. Whoever had you must have taken really good care of you. Actually, you have Randy to thank for that. Randy? She found him outside St. Matthew's Church. Didn't know what to do, so she took him home. And she kept waiting for someone to report a missing baby, but no one ever contacted the police. We were scared to come forward because of David and the fact that he would find out. If I'd known, we'd end up here. So why isn't Randy here? Well, she only had him a short time, but Randy fell in love with Trevor. And after losing her own baby, I don't know, it was like he was sent from heaven or something. I'm sure that was really hard for her to give him up. I really have to tell her how grateful I am. Well, I'll pass that along. We're in really deep trouble, aren't we? I don't know. Do you think David's going to get my son? If there is any justice in this world, that child will stay right where he is. Thank you. We didn't think we had a choice. We felt we had to hide Amanda's son because David kept threatening that once the child was born, he was going to steal him. Right, right. That's what he said. Hide Amanda's son. Now, that, that's an interesting choice of words. It's more like faked a baby's cremation. I mean, that would be more appropriate, don't Jesse, you think? Jesse, we didn't think we could risk it. Risk what? Well, you know how long it takes, you know, for the whole adoption process to go through? We just wanted to speed it up a little bit. So somebody thought that if she found an abandoned baby on the steps of her church... And magically that baby ends up with you and Amanda. So the whole infertility thing, uh, how Amanda couldn't have more babies, that was a lie too, right? I'll take that as a yes. Look, we, we made a mistake. You think? Yes, okay, we made a mistake, but we 
felt like we were protecting the child. Can you, can you see that? What? How do you propose I take care of this? Look, How do I handle this, Jake? Just let's, can we just say it's a misunderstanding? A misunderstanding. Let, a man, to take, oh, let a man to take our son home. Right, and that's we'll just all forget I'm at. that this ever happened. Is that it? Okay, come on, folks. Can we get, please get back to the can planet we, Earth? Just, no, no, no. It's not like it's going to be a big surprise. Come on, look at them. They've got guilt written all over their faces. You faked the death of a child. You brought that child across international borders. You bribed an entire medical staff. I mean, tell me, Jake, did they name a wing after you in that Barbados Just clinic? Give it a run. No, 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 there's more. Child endangerment, failure to notify the police, and the list goes on and on, I'm folks. I'm sure they've got it. Hey, Wood. Now, this isn't just a misunderstanding, Jake. We're talking about criminal offenses. You might want to tell your parents goodbye. For the last time, that's enough, okay? To getting away with all this and having a perfect life. You know, I'm, I'm just sorry. I, I, I wish we had known. Because then if, when Randy found Trevor, she could have brought him right back. You wouldn't have had to go off searching. David would have never found out. What did David say exactly? I mean, does he really know everything? It sounded like it. He mentioned Tad and Taylor, even Opal. He knew everyone involved. I just, oh, after all this, you know, like, if I lose my baby after all this. Listen, let's not go there yet, okay? Let's just wait and hear what Jesse has to say. What if I don't wait? What if I don't wait? I mean, they look pretty distracted out there. I mean, what if you go out for some water or something and Trevor and I, you know, we just, we sneak out the back? No. Mm. I mean, I'm sure there's a back in entrance, right? We could just sneak out. It's possible. No, it's, no, it's, it's not. Because we're in a police station and you're the chief's wife. Oh, sweetheart, no, it's because running is not the answer. Child endangerment, that's funny. The only danger that child was ever in is you. With your threats that you were gonna steal the child at birth. Look, we couldn't see that baby being raised in a household with a monster, right. a monster of a this role model. That was not something we were gonna please. do. Okay, for a litany of offenses. Most recently, for kidnapping my son. What about what you did to Liza? You dragged her in a wild wind at gunpoint. You want to have somebody arrested for kidnapping? Start with him. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But let us not forget something here. I am the victim, all right? Oh. I know it's difficult to see past the bloody fangs, but let's imagine for one second that I'm a human being. I mourned the death of my son for months. I believed he was dead. I couldn't look into his eyes. I couldn't see him. I couldn't hold him. And that was because of him and his sorry excuse of a wife. Oh, now, you really? call me a monster? No, 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 what the hell does that make you? You are never, well, well, never going to see Trevor. Oh, you're an imbecile. You know that it's as good as done. Go ahead, why don't you add a soul to his growing list of offenses? Mark, get your hands off me. No problem. Oh. You know something? It's gonna be really difficult holding a baby in handcuffs. So why don't you hand him to Daddy? Natalia, take the baby, please. No. Honey, it's okay. It's, it's okay. No, please. Please do not take my son, please. 